Hello everybody, this is Heretic Plus, back with episode 7 of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm back here with Justin. Say hi, Justin. Hello, everyone. And we have just, of course, beaten the first Black Waltz. Everyone else was sleeping, but Zidane, he knows never to lie down on the job. So we kicked his butt, got a couple of great pieces of gear, including the Mithril Dagger, which I've made sure to equip. Um, all of our other weapons are done, so Zidane is going to see a big damage increase, comparable to Steiner's at this point. Um, but of course he'll be staying in the back row for longer because in the next few fights there's some really good stuff for us to steal. Oh yeah. So uh, I forgot. Did, did we check Modnet? Yes. Okay, we got a letter from him to Gumo, and Gumo, well, he's, he's not too far away. He's in the next town. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and leave the ice cave now. I'm perfectly fine with this. I really hate snow levels, and this one's not that bad. But I can never stand the snow levels, man. Uh, it just makes you cold thinking about it. I'm not a- well, you're a cold weather person, though. Yeah, but even I can't stand this for yeah, long. And I'm not a cold weather person, guys, but- Well, see, this isn't bad, but, like, no. freaking Snowhead and Majora's Mask? Oh. oh, that place! Gosh, dang it. By the way, guys, this area is a really good spot to grind if you want to get the, that AP up there. But uh, we're pretty good. I'll, I'll show you this battle, because I don't think you've seen these enemies before. And if we have, well, I'm too lazy to edit that this one, so... I'll get one freebie, and then I'll start editing them out. Ah, oh, lots go. of flams. Evil Jello yeah. pans. I don't know. Alright, Steiner, take them out. Funny how we rely on one guy to do all of our killing. Not all of it, just a good deal with it. Well, now that VV has like oh. 50, 55 mana, or yeah. magic, MP, or whatever you want to call it. Magic points, mana points. I always prefer mana. Yeah. I don't know why, because like all the big games that call it mana, I haven't really played. Mm -hmm. <laughs> call it mana, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Here's the death blow. See, v right. Vivi's damage is gonna be absolutely insane. Of course, everything in this area is weak to fire, so it it comes as expected. Little beast, yeah. children's clothing. <laughs> I saw the great thing, it was on a comment for somebody's videos, it's like, uh, Vivi is like the perfect character, you know, he's oh, yeah. just a lovable kid who can shove a thunderbolt up your ass. <laughs> 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 That's exactly what Vivi is. And guys, yeah, we have so many potions that if you have to heal up, it's more worth it to use potions than ethers to heal. I mean, well, because yeah. you'll, you'll spend MP and then have to use an ether to get it back. In that case, guys, I would just use, uh, potions, but that's just me. Hey, we finally made it out. Yep, we're out. Time for some dialogue. We made it through the mist. Oh, the sun feels great. Look, there's a village. <laughs> Zidane has ADD, I swear. <laughs> I think I've been there before. It sounds like you've been everywhere, Zidane. <laughs> that's what she said. Well, not really. The that doesn't really make <laughs> sense. The only other worlds I've Visited our own books. You may have been to that village. Let's go visit. Wait, hold it. You're a princess. You can't just go rushing in there. People are looking for you. You need a new identity. Insolent fool! Ah! The princess need not sneak around. <laughs> it was killed the day. <laughs> Besides, we're heading back to the castle. You leave her alone. I would have just died. Yeah. I would not have caught my balance. And you will address her as princess from now on, you silly Peasant. <laughs> you silly peasant. <laughs> Damn it, Rusty. Why don't you just shut up? Who do you think you are? I don't take orders from a stuck-up jerk like you. You guys. Stop it, you two. Steiner, I do not intend to return to the castle. And I do see Z Z Zidane's point. I need a new name. Zidane, what is this called? Uh, that would be a dildo print. I mean, that's a dagger. All knives that length are called daggers. <laughs> <laughs> it was still though, though, her name would be really funny. <laughs> Short swords are a bit longer. The big sword you hold with both hands is called a broadsword. And, oh, okay, I understand now. And he gets cut off. <laughs> you know those people who never seem to know that you don't want to hear what they're talking about? Yeah. yeah. So this is called a dagger. Princess, it's a weapon. Please be careful. I've decided from now on, my name is... Dildo. No, no, dagger. This is an off. Okay, this name, like it, it's grown on me, to the point where I can't see it changing. Mm -hmm. But I, it's just a terrible name to call her. Dagger. One, she doesn't use a dagger. 
And two, that's just not an attractive name in any case. And I, w I would much rather have just, you know, kept your name as Garnet, Garnet. But Dagger it is. I will be called Dagger from now on. What do you think, Zidane? I think that name's not worth a velvet painting of a dolphin and an sea otter getting it on. Is that okay with you? Sure. Great, Dagger. Now let's work on your speech. Try to sound more casual. Like Justin, I mean like me. <laughs> I shall try. No, no, no. What would Vivi say? <laughs> Vivi say? <laughs> <laughs> Just say, alrighty. That's so odd. Who actually <laughs> uses those words? Uh, alrighty. Rose. You're getting the hang of it. Well, but she's... I don't know. Yeah. Normal people, though. Alrighty. Normal people don't say that. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go. <laughs> Rose on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Sweet, so now we are here in the new area. As soon as the screen loads uh. up. <laughs> like, okay, new go. area! Back to the world map music. Yeah. So this next area, there's quite a few things to do. There's a new town over there, a few new areas. But first things first, let's take head over here to the left. If you go all the way over, you'll find there's another gate. Sweet, so in that last battle, guys, Zidane caught up with Steiner at level 9. And at the same time, Steiner ended up learning Minus Strike. Um, Minus Strike, if I haven't mentioned it, what that does is it will deal damage based on the difference between max HP and uh, your, your current, current HP. HP. So basically, if Steiner is about dead, then it's kind of a good attack. But if he's got decent health, his normal attack... Or it'll do no damage if he's at full health, basically. So yeah. the more hurt he is, the more damage it will do. But really, there's no point in the entire game where that's really a good ability to use. Yeah. At least not in my opinion. There's better things you can do, especially with sword magic available to him. Mm. But uh, not at all times in the game will you be able to do that. I mean, you might not have Vivi, and at some points you can't have Vivi. So here we are at another gate. I want to pass through. You gotta have a gate pass to pass through here. There's no work here right now. Try again where they need construction workers. Uh, I want to take a break. The shop girl at Vega won't be here. What's Vega? Vega. Man. At is Vega? That, that, is that that one small little town at the bottom of the mountain where you go up? Is that called Vega? I don't know. I, don't know. I we'll, can't we'll remember. find out later, guys. I can wait. Then wait right here. I want to talk. Southgate is the border of Alexandria and Lindblom. We check every airship and person crossing the border. We're doing the best we can to keep the two nations safe. So are these people not uh, connected with the nations? You know? I don't know. I mean. By the way, guys, um, if you look above the gate, the words there say "Dally." I never knew that was there before. No, I didn't either. But a part-time worker, Mary. Hello, I'm Mary. I work at Vega, an item shop. Oh, nice, an yeah. item shop. What's up, baby? You want to go get a bite to eat? Oh, you're not attractive. Let's rest. So it's a hundred gil. I believe it refills all of your health and manner, mm -hmm. or at least most of it. Most of it, at least. Um. And 100 gil versus the 800 that tents cost, that's oh. amazing. Even if you're not going to grind before you head to the village, 100 is just a bargain. The rest of the stuff that she has are not worth it at all. And also, yeah, don't sell anything pretty much ever. Because um, you never know when you're going to want it and when you're not... Or when you're gonna want it and not be able to get it later, you know, like oh, yeah. uh, especially f especially for synthesis, um, which if you don't know, I I'll show you more about that later. But in this game, synthesis is the combining of multiple items into a new item, and sometimes you need items that are hard to get because you went and sold them episodes ago or episodes hours ago. Yeah, whatever the case may be. All right, so Vivi just hit level nine, and this next part um, is a little bit of a side quest called the Ragtime Mouse. And what the Ragtime Mouse is, is, um, he is a, uh, what would you call him? Basically, he shows up and he asks you a few questions. You don't really fight him. And if you answer his questions correctly, um, he will give you money for it, basically. Um, and if you do this the entire game, as many times as you're supposed to, um, you can get a really good item for doing it. So, basically, um, what, it's a random encounter at any force in the game, but, at least from what I've heard, I'll have to try this out now to be honest, but what I've heard is that right after you save, you have a much more increased chance of seeing him as the first thing after you save the game. So if you just kind of walk around for a little bit, try not to run if you just kind of nudge it back and forth. Yep. See, there you go, right after you save. Just kind of nudge it back and forth and you've got a high chance of seeing this dude. His questions aren't that hard, if you don't know what they are, you can look them up. 
Um, but they're pretty easy. I believe I know all of at least the first few off the top of my head. But, um... Pop quiz. Question number two. The 15th London Bloom War started in 1600. That is false. It was like 1616, wasn't it? Or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. False, so, though. basically, you select attack, and you attack the X, the false. Do not attack the ragtime mouse. You hit false, and... He will tell you what you won! Who's next up on the Price is Right? Correct! And we get a thousand gil. So yeah, we can do this four times on disc one. The first time we get a thousand. The fourth time we get two thousand, so that's five thousand in total, which is very nice to have. That's like a third of our cash right now. So uh, I'll do this a few more times, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I actually only went and saw the Ragtime Mouse three times. You can do it four, but basically the way it works is that in the same forest, um, there's a high chance, and then the chance gets lower and lower the more times that you've found him. We're gonna head over here first, by the way, guys. So, um... You're kidding. What the hell? No way. This is not the right one. This is... Is this the mouse? It can't be. Is this the mouse? Or the... Okay. Okay, woo. Um... I would have so, gotten so mad. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention this guy. Uh, he wants ore. Don't give it to him, especially not in our case. Not yet. Basically, if you give this guy ore, he will give you 25 AP for it, which is a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, and you can do that a few times, too, I think. Yeah, with several different animals. Yes. But um, the reason being is, especially for us, we've done quite a bit of... Uh, AP training, so we don't really have, I think, like any stats running except for one. So that's absolutely wasted on our characters, but on other characters, when you have a lot of skills to learn at once, that's a good thing to get. But for right now, we don't need it. So here we are at this little area here. There's two items to get off the bat. Here's a chest with a high potion, which I don't think we have very many of those yet, do we? No. We've got like five, maybe? Six. Six. Ah, that was pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. And over here is a hundred and... 35 gold, I want to say. Jill? I said gold. Gold, Gill. Um, up on that top, there's nothing Jill. really to see. There's a little spinny thingy. It's kind of cool, but... Into the hut. You can do his voice, Justin. Oh, my coffee smells delicious. <laughs> 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 You're going to sound like later in life. Didn't this model go on sale to commemorate the building of the fifth theater ship? I bought it at an auction in Trino. I have money to spend these days. What I really wanted was some rare coffee. <laughs> so why'd you buy an airship? <laughs> My friend used to have one too, but I bet he lost it in the incident. I'll give it to you if you get me some rare coffee. Oh, cool. Really? I don't lie. Let's see. I want to try Berman, Kerman, and Mocha coffee. Oh, and Mocha, my favorite. Oh, yeah. Actually, that is my favorite. Mocha coffee? I, I'm not a manly coffee drinker. I'm, I'm, I like the, the chocolatey candies. Yeah. <laughs> if you find all of them, bring them back to me. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll see about that. So, yeah, there are three kinds of coffee in the game to grab him. It's a pretty good side quest, actually. We can get some good stuff from it. Mm -hmm. But, um... For the moment, though, we are heading to the town just over the hill. Which is one of my favorite towns oh, in the yeah. game, one of them. But really, there's no areas in this game that I really don't like. You know what I mean? They're all pretty good. Yeah. They really are. So this is the town of... Drumroll. Dally. <laughs> Phoebe, the inn is this way. Uh, do we have to? But I want to go see the windmill. I know, but let's get some rest first. We also need to decide what to do next, and I've got an itching for some garnet. I mean, we need to get some rest first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's yeah. very restful. Zidane just nods to garnet. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about, lady. Did you see that? I sure did. Scare the birds! Yeah. Birds get the hell out of there! <laughs> Cause they know something's going, going down! <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping on the job? Hey, wake up, douchebag! I'm tired! I mean... Oh, I'm sorry! 
<laughs> hey, I know she's cute, but it's rude of you to stare. Besides, that's my hunk of love meat. <laughs> oh, I wasn't looking at the young lady. I was just... I was looking at right the little there. boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. Actually, though... <laughs> <laughs> Make yourselves at home. <laughs> he was looking at the little boy. <laughs> More about that later, guys. Um, Zidane, where will I be staying? Well, where else? In my bed. I mean, in the same room. Where else? But Zidane, I mustn't. <laughs> you can't. I understand how you feel, but these country inns don't have private rooms, and they're lacking in moral standards. <laughs> Get inside, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is going as I have foreseen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this segment of the game. Tell me one thing before we go to sleep. Are you a screamer, or do you... No. <laughs> Why do you want to leave the castle, Dagger? If the theater ship hadn't crashed, it would have arrived at the neighboring regency of Lindblom. You were going to leave Alexandria? Steiner. Ah! <laughs> like, he can't believe she's going to leave. <laughs> I see. If you hadn't been caught, you would have reached Lindblom by now. But now, you both across Southgate on foot. Border crossing, huh? Zidane, please listen. There is a reason I must leave this kingdom. I cannot tell you why, but... But please. I understand. I'll get you to Lindblom somehow. I've heard enough. Princess, you cannot trust the words of a thief. He may expose you to even more danger like he did in Evil Force. That wasn't my fault. I beg of you, Princess. Please return to the castle with me. I know I screwed up in Evil Forest. But there's no doubt in my mind now. I'll protect Dagger with my life. Don't be ridiculous. It is I who protect the princess. Now and forever. I just, I just think kind of an odd thought. You know, like, the queen is worrying so much about Dagger. Does she even remember Steiner? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think so. You meet up with her again later, and like, does she even kind of remember him? I don't really remember. <laughs> Then tell me, how do you intend to take her back to the castle? I... I will think of a way. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, who actually does that when they snore? <laughs> Master V. He was tired. But you had to go on a tirade. What? Let's go to sleep. Come on, Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> you can have this side of the bed. <laughs> But you can't wait to see what my tail is used for. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Steiner's up all night just <laughs> watching you. <laughs> He's sitting up watching. Okay, this part's great. It really is a lovely song. I think we oh. talked over the entire song. Oh, man. I apologize, but I've never heard a song like that before. Was that Dagger singing? Oh, everyone's up already. I wonder where they went. Yeah, basically we wake up and, and Dagger is singing this lovely, lovely tune, which we will see again in the game, um, before too long, in mm -hmm. fact, but I'm really sorry that I was talking over it. We'll try and be yeah. better about that in the future. Sorry. This must be Color Fortunes. It was a big fad in Lindblom a few years back. So it's a fortune teller, which is, I think, in almost every Final Fantasy game, but it's in the current ones, at least. Ten Gil, huh? Like in S7, it's Kate Sith. A nice day to relax and put your mind at ease. Lost things will be returned to you, and you will eat foods that are gentle to your body. Yeah, I slept a dagger last night. A good day to spend indoors or out. Your lucky color is red. Okay, interesting. Have I heard about this store before? I don't know. Um, do not look at daggers yet. You can look at VVs, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, but no one seems to know that you can actually do something that... I guess people don't do. I'll show you in a minute, guys. Exclamation point! Ouch! What's going on? Hey, you're... Ah! It's a communist! <laughs> a communist! <laughs> Poor Vivi. Are they avoiding me? All the other black mages wouldn't let him play in black mage games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then one oh, foggy Christmas, Christmas Eve, Zidane's <laughs> came to say... <laughs> Vivi, with your hand so bright... Uh, I don't know. No, no, Steiner said that. Won't you make me a magic knight? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, so back in we go. No, yeah, no. 
That's don't, don't. dagger to Zidane. So here is Gumo, who we have a letter for. Give Gumo the letter. A letter from Moist, huh? I don't like Moist, but I'll read it anyway. <laughs> I love how honest he is. <laughs> Yo! Man, I got totally iced up by some dude with wings on his back. Still skin passed by me by without doing anything. Is he rude or what? Of course, I would, couldn't say anything because I was trapped inside the ice. He always sounds so gruff, but I'm glad to hear Stiltskin is traveling. I can't wait to hear from him, Kubo. I forgot to do the voice. Oh, well. So, any other notes? I uh, don't think so. Nope. No more notes. That's okay. I want mail, Kubo. Oh. How much time do we have left? Yeah. A little bit. All right. You I won't do read cat. any for now. Wait, Head over to one. the right. Oh, yeah. Because if you look at Dagger's cutscene, um, basically an old one. You were wrong. Maybe not. I could have sworn they could do that. I. Yeah. My apologies, guys. Justin's an idiot, but I thought we could do it too. So I'm not gonna give it all to him. This used to be a farm. Why did they destroy the farm and draw those strange patterns? Um, what I thought was because if you look at the cutscene, um, which we can't look at now for obvious reasons. Um, you see Dagger come down here, and then the old woman shows up, and she gets in the way from that chest that you cannot get. Um, I was under the impression, though, that if you didn't look at that one yet, that, uh, in fact, we could get the chest before she shows up, but I guess I was wrong. So, I guess you learned something new. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab some items around town. Just one over here, right? <laughs> or not. This wheel looks big enough for an airship engine. Why would they need something like this on a farm? So just kind of look around, there's a couple of items. This actually is pretty cool. You can spy inside. Someone was spying on us in our sleep. But yeah, oh, there's a chest in there we missed too. But we'll, we'll have a chance to get that in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see, where is the item at? Is it over in that corner there? Over here? No. No. Huh. Oh well. We'll talk to Vivi for now. Hey Vivi, what's up? Sedane. Nothing. I was just thinking. Ah, oh, I see. You met a girl. No, no, nothing like that. You're getting all red in the face, or I mean, black in the face. What? Don't tell me you don't like girls. I never really thought about stuff like that. I'm always thinking about girls. <laughs> yes, today we know. <laughs> I'm popular with all the ladies in Lindblom. Come to me if you have any girl trouble, okay? Uh, sh sure, thanks. Okay, then. We need to decide on what to do. I'm gonna go look for Dagger and Rusty. Would you mind heading back to the inn? Sure. Sure, I'll head back. Cool. Goodbye. Oh, so what were you staring at? Nothing, but I keep hearing a sound like quit. That's the sound Chekobos make. Okay, that sounds nothing like what Chekobos make. No. <laughs> it's, it's not the sound that Justin made. <laughs> Quee! <laughs> I'll see you back at the end. Okay. What are Chocobos? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Chocobo! Ah! And he was kidnapped! By a kid. So... No, that wasn't a kid. Oh. Huh? Forget Steiner. I wonder where Dagger is. Yeah, he doesn't care about him. That's right. Well, guys, thank you for watching this awesome episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the next one, we'll find out who the heck stole Vivi. That's my boy. You know, why'd they take him? What did he have to do to anyone? So uh, tune in next time to find that out. He's probably dead and or raped or something. And Steiner's obviously... Who cares? <laughs> who cares? So we'll find Dagger, hook up, and head off to Lindblom. So I'll see you next time, guys. Until then, this is Heretic Plus and Justin signing out. Goodbye! Bye.